Hey squad and welcome back to my channel. I hope that this video finds you a wonderful, great, excellent spirit. So it's the first part of the year, so we need to do this. I need you to go grab a reflective surface. I need you to look at yourself in the mirror and first say, thank you, we made it into the new year, okay? So we made it in 2020, you survived 2019, you were here, we learned from things from 2019, we grew from things from 2019, and let's get aside for 2020. I know there's a lot of people in the world dealing with um, a lot of heavy stuff already in this year, but the year just started. Doesn't mean that's what's going to continue through the rest of the year. We're not going to even put energy and thought to that. We're going to put energy and thought to, yeah, that happened, but this is going to be the positive result. And this is what we're going to push forward to. It's Something you can look forward to is tax season. So if you get refunds, you can look forward to that um, to get you out of there. But I just know, you know, there's things going on in the U.S., things going on around the world. I mean, not even looking at the politics part of things and what's going on to certain people around the world. It's just even in your everyday life, there are people that are going through some things. So, um, I don't know, so much going on in the YouTube community. I mean, there's, it's just, it's just here and here and here and here. But just remember to stop, tell yourself you love yourself, you're awesome, whether you're going through the good, the bad, the ugly, you still want to always tell, remind yourself you love yourself um, and that you're thankful to be here. You want to live in the moment and create lasting memories. Um, I was listening to the radio and um, the DJs were talking about how kids will remember you going like to Disney World or if you go on a fishing trip or I don't know. I don't know, whatever trip you want to go on or y'all go spend all day at Main Event or Dave & Buster's or whatever it, thing is in your area, <laughs> they're going to remember that versus, oh, they want that new truck or, oh, they want that new doll. Um, they're not going to remember that. That's not going to be a memory unless it's something like really huge. And I can't even think like, of, okay, you bought your, your child a PS4, something like that, or, or iPad or some type of gaming system. Okay, they're going to probably remember that. But like the little V things, dolls, blanket, all, they're not going to remember that. Um, so my whole point is, like I said, living in the moment, create memories because those are the things that will stick with you. Like I remember a lot of the childhood trips that I took with my mom and, you know, that still sticks with me. And I want to create that for my kids um, because what you do as a child, it you do carry it into adulthood. It does form who you are as you get older. So you want to make sure you are putting in more positive, nurturing, loving stuff versus the next. I know some stuff you can't avoid, but um, make sure you fix things, okay? Don't keep carrying things into adulthood. I mean, there are ways to fix things and get back on the path. But um, just going back to what I said, tying it all together, live in the moment. Um, yes, things are going on around you, but don't let that stop you living life. Don't stop living life just because of everything else going around. Feed your soul with positive love, energy, and that just makes life even more complete. All right, guys. So, you know, I always like to get the message out first. And now let's jump into the second reason that we are here. And before I do that, um, this video should already be up on this unit right here. I'm currently wearing. Um, just to give you a little update on her, I've been wearing her for the last week and a half. I love this unit. I love her. Took me a minute to get these units. I ordered them. They didn't send them in the right color. They have flipped the colors around. I did not like that. That's not what I wanted. I wanted what I ordered. So it took me a minute to get to the post office, send it back to them because holiday season, retail, anywho, got it. They said they were gonna mail it off. Week and a half later, they still hadn't done it. I was like, Arr! Why are you messing with me? So, Nisha 203, you are here today for Nisha 202, okay? So, that was like a long story just to get to this point, but <laughs> anywho, Nisha 202. So, I wanted, I got Nisha 202 in the color DRFF Black Cherry. And of course, I know, I know this one was, a but Butterscotch was, probably the top I feel like was the second most popular color and then the first popular color is a DRFF Sunkiss Brown and in case you're not familiar which I don't know why you wouldn't be because they've been all over IG YouTube 
but that's this color right here and that color is so pretty like that is such a pretty color but that color is like the first one that usually get that i've seen is usually that gets sold out it's almost like they did a 1b with highlights of 99j to give you the black cherry so you got the cherry in front and then i feel like the black cherry in the back but i think it's a gorgeous color it's different i don't think i have anything this color so she still feels soft just like this unit all right so she does have the two combs in the temple area thank you so much i wouldn't even say temple area actually more like here a little bit past your temple area um, and then there is the parting space right there. And she is a left side part. You would think I wouldn't notice that watching all the videos, but I didn't. So, um, yeah. Nothing's wrong with left side part. I just prefer right side part because I do have my piercing. So I don't like that covered up. But nothing's wrong with that. Um, then there's the lace, of course. And then she has the uh, comb in the back with the adjustable straps. I can't remember that. I don't think I did not I did not I don't think I said that in that video I didn't remove the adjustable straps so and feels good it's just good on the head so I'm not gonna do that on this one I feel like they should have the same cap cap construction I feel like they should have the same cap construction so <laughs> I am going to go ahead and cut off the lace and then we'll see what Miss Nisha 202 to do to do 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 All right, guys. So I did not undo the straps, and she fits snugly on the head. Snug, that's a, that's a, snugly on the head. Um, so I think we will be all right. I'm glad that I was able to try uh, the OG Nisha um, just to compare the volume of this newer line versus her. I feel like these are definitely more tame. Then the original Nisha, I love the original. Like, I still wear her. I love her. I like big hair. Um, so, uh, I don't have any problems with her. And these, I, I, I don't know. I like the, um, what should I say? I like the fullness. I don't think they're too big on me, in my personal opinion. Maybe because I have, you know, a round face. <laughs> I don't dislike her I'm trying to figure I'm trying to figure something out yeah, let me figure it out I wonder what happened if I had layers though instead of putting curls and messing up the, not messing up the curl pattern but changing the curl pattern maybe if I put um, if I put a layer right here I'm a little scared to do that. You know, I like to cut hair. So, uh, I cut my units. But I am a little hesitant. I am a little scared. I don't know why. I just don't want it to look crazy. Okay, let me give you a full si the 360. And while I do that, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do. Okay. So, of course, front. This is me to the right. And then this is me to the left. So you can see that color better. And then this is me to the back. Okay. The verdict is in and we're gonna put some layers in. Yeah, I just feel like she needs layers. Now, she has layers, but we're going to shorten those layers up. There are not any of these units around. I think that's two. Like, oh, you messed one up, you just get another one. All 
All right, squad. So here's my completed look on Miss Nisha 202. Um, I add layers to both sides, you know, to balance it out. Uh, I think there's a difference. I don't know if my mind's playing tricks on me, but I feel like there is a difference by adding the layers. Um, you know, it just, it wasn't just like, floop, you know, now it's kind of broken up, you know, on the side there. Maybe I'll take a screenshot and then put, put me side by side. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try. Um, but I was moving a lot, so I don't know. Um, I probably could put a little bit more layers on this side. But um, for right now, we're just going to leave it like this. Let me see myself in her. And if I feel like I need to uh, do any adjustments, I will. But um, anywho, let me, let, let me know what you guys think. Well, this is how much, this is the amount of hair that I took out. So this is not me thinning her because I don't feel like she needs to be thin. I was not doing this to thin her. This is what I cut as far as layers into her. But yeah, let me know, guys. Have you tried any of the Nisha's? Whether it's the OG or one of the newer ones, what do you think about them? Do you think they're too big? Or uh, do you thin yours out? I know there are a few videos on YouTube, a tutorial that show you how to thin out the units. So if you think they're too big, especially if you have a smaller face, like this unit on my mom, it would swallow her and eat her up. It would eat her whole. So no, on her, if she wanted to get this, I would definitely have to thin it out for her. Um, or use a flat iron. If you use a flat iron or curl iron to uh, kind of change the curl pattern, that will tame her as well. But if you don't want to mess with the curls or anything like that, then yes, thinning her out will we'll work for you so you definitely can do that so i am done babbling on enough in this video so um if you're new to my channel please subscribe i greatly appreciate it it's free you know i know you did all the holiday shopping you're waiting for tax refund season so i know you're kind of trying to ball on the budget this is free you don't have to pay anything for it so just hit subscribe and then everybody all together now let's hit the like button okay <laughs> and hit the bell so you get notifications on when the unit is headed your way and i will see you guys in my next video let me put this hair down <laughs> bye